So the new host of Sports Edge on the scene was announced Saturday, and it was Erica Walker who made the final cut. And she now has a very exciting job at News 8 for the next year. Today is her first day. Congratulations, Erica. Thank you so much, Teresa. Great to have you here. Uh, so let's go back to the day we were making the announcement. The top nine, everybody was here in the studio. What was going through your head? I was just so nervous. Yeah. I was really hoping my name was going to be called, and there you see it was. So it was just really awesome. My parents were there for it, and it was just such a great experience. I just couldn't stop smiling yeah. the whole weekend, and it just feels so great. Did people call you? Did they see you on TV this yeah, past weekend? Yeah, I, I got a lot of great feedback, and it was oh, just really good. exciting. A lot of support, everyone on Facebook, through all social media, yeah. a lot of phone calls. So it was really great to know that so many people are really happy for me and Absolutely. ready for me to embark on this adventure. Uh, let's talk about the competition. Yes. Originally, when we started uh, in East Haven at McDermott, there was uh, close to 100 people there. Yeah. So they narrowed it down to the top nine mm -hmm. and take it from there. Well, once we were the top nine, uh, I got a call and told me I was a finalist, and we got a little list of different competitions we'd be doing. Mm -hmm. So that included our first Connecticut style appearance with you. And then also we had social media voting. So you had to try to get as many people to vote for you as you can. Mm -hmm. We had a couple weeks to do that through Facebook and Twitter and any type of social media you could do, just mm -hmm. raising awareness for Sports Edge and yourself. And then we also had to put together a package. So that was about local health and wellness. What and did also, you do actually? Because we're looking at it yes, right now. <laughs> well, every day I tried to do this story, it was like pouring rain or the <laughs> games were canceled oh, no. and it was just so frustrating so that was showing okay this is gonna be my story now mm -hmm. so I use that there's fields are empty so here's a indoor activity we could do and I found it's very indoor clever actually class. Erica so, yeah, it was good I just made the best of it which I think shows my skills that I have is yep. you know I'm gonna roll with the punches and make the best of whatever comes my way um, so what other topics will we be covering this year any sort of thing that's health and wellness based, so different programs or local athletics, and I know you can ask me and our team to come and out. How and how do we do that, Erica? Go to sportsedge.com. <laughs> Pretty easy, right? Yeah. And they'll have you come out. I know mm -hmm. that you're going to be out at uh, sporting events. Right. And, uh... So definitely just spotlight things in the community and really want to get everyone's name out there and mm -hmm. help build Sports Edge also. So I'm really excited to be a part of that. Great. So you're going to have a Facebook page. You're going to yes. have a Twitter. We'll be able to follow you. Mm -hmm, you will. So we'll let you know all that information as soon as it's Sounds up and running. <laughs> fantastic. All right. Let's put the information up on the screen. Sports Edge wants to spotlight you. Have Erica and the Sports Edge team at the next fitness event or your youth sporting game in your town. All you have to do is visit sportsedge.com to submit your request. And we are back here in the kitchen with uh, the Corbett's. I don't know if our guests know, but you guys are married. Yeah, <laughs> we'll admit it. And who do you have with you today? This is my daughter, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Thanks for coming. Um, so the ice cream's melting, but... Uh, it is, but it's it will still, still be taste tasty, great. Right? Yes, yes. Um, and where can we find your book? Just about anywhere? www.partyhostessdiva.com and I will have a lot more tips on there as well if people were listening and they didn't quite catch something I always have uh, a blog with recipes and mm -hmm. tips and how to do things with flair but easy and love not too that, expensive. Right? Mm -hmm. yep. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. And Bill one more time the name of your book and where we can find it? Love Limits and Lessons and it's at Amazon and Barnes and Noble and anywhere else you can buy books. Alright sounds good. Erica welcome to the News Thank 8 family. Thank you. So we've got a lot of reading to do. We have a lot of reading <laughs> and eating. So yeah exactly. Yeah. Help us out. <laughs> Alright we're out of time everybody make it a great day we'll see you back here tomorrow bye-bye